shoot. Um, I actually just finished the uh, Shikamani anime, and um, what was your favorite part of that? Uh, the Oh, jeez. Um, okay, so for who who knows what Shikabane Hime is about? No. Very few people. Okay, so Shikabane Hime is basically a show that has zombies with superpowers in it. Oh dear. And what? Yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, so you die and and you're obsessed with something, or you have a lot of outstanding regrets. And what do you do? You come back to life as a zombie with superpowers, intent on fulfilling whatever it was you were obsessed with, like getting that thing, but it usually involves killing people. I don't know why, it's just kind of how it goes down. And so naturally there is an order of uh, Buddhist monks that resist this evil force, and how do they resist it? With um, scantily clad young women. They do it. With machine guns. It's just how it has to be done, you know? It's, it's anime. So, uh, that's the show I'm in, and I play the main monk. Um, I play his little brother, Ori, and then uh, my brother, Keisei, dies, and then I have to take his- Oh crap, I shouldn't have said that! <laughs> Oops! Quiet part loud again! Spoiler! Something happens, and then Ori has to step up to a certain plate. Yeah. So. So, um, I guess my favorite- my favorite part of Shikabane Hime was probably just the- the brother- relationship scenes, because I'm kind of good at brother relationship scenes, you know? Yay! Um, <laughs> and, like, Ori and Keisei, Keisei is like a complete pervert, which is kind of a, a new element of the, of brotherhood as a topic. Because, okay, so for example, I'm asleep, and Keisei comes home, and uh, he, uh, you see him in my room, like, like, with a mischievous face, and then the next day I wake up completely surrounded by, like, porn. Like, it's like all my walls and ceiling. And, yeah, I, like, flip out, and then, like, he, like, gave me a bunch of boxes of porn, and then I, like, like get really mad at him and stuff, and then, like, two weeks later, it's still in my room, like, in another scene, and I thought that was kind of funny, too. Um, yeah. What was your favorite part? There, there are some very sad parts of that show, but it's actually really good, even though it's fairly obscure. So y'all should all check it out. You like it when people die. That's, oh. <laughs> that's nice. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so I've seen Vic's version on YouTube, and I've seen Mike's version on YouTube, but not yours. Can you tell us about the time you fell in the booth? <laughs> <laughs> you haven't seen my version? No. On YouTube? No. Did you look for it? I tried. Really? Yes. <laughs> They're like 30 of them. <laughs> Alright, so, five years ago, I am 13. I don't know, it might have been six years ago when I was 12. So I'm sitting in the booth recording for FMA, like, like early, early recordings. And this is my first big role. You know, before that, I've never spent more than, like, two hours in a studio at once. And so, um... I, uh, I get a little fidgety, you know? Like, like, you know, like leaning back in my stool and forward in my stool. Oh my gosh, I've told this story so many times. And Sorry! <laughs> it's okay. Um, and then, okay, so, so part of the process of recording is that there are three beats, and then you wait for the, where the fourth beat would be, and that's where you start saying your line, right? So um, I was doing this thing to keep myself entertained, which was where I would lean back as far as possible in the tiny little booth that they had me in that's like soundproof, and like leaning against the wall, and then I would like rush forward whenever I had my line and then say it. Right? And, and I tried to do that without seeming like I was doing that. And uh, in this particular instance, you could say that I failed. Um, <laughs> An epic fail? <laughs> I failed epically. I, um, so, so there was like beep, beep. It, the reason why is because I was, I was still kind of off topic by the second beep, and I was like, oh crap, third beep, go! And uh, instead of going forward to say my line, my stool fell backwards, and then like, I fell backwards, and I was wedged between the stool, which was like angled sideways like so, and the wall, which I would demonstrate except there's a thing. And uh, so, I'm like, my knees are up here, and I can't move at all. And uh, I'm trying to be silent because I, you know, it's kind of an embarrassing situation. I don't know if the director would know, but you know, it's recording. And there's like a five second pause, and then Mike's just like, Aaron? And uh, 
What I say is, uh... Help me! Aww. And so he has to, like, get me out of there, yeah. <laughs>